it's Sunday morning and none of my crowd are up. I totally love the quiet in the mornings and for whatever reason it's the best time for me to get my well creative juices flowing and to plan for my day. So I woke up earlier than normal and I wrote a blog post and um, now I'm ready to kind of plan the day and plan my week. Today is, well, August start, starts next week. And it just seems like the summer is just flying by. So I got this on Friday. And this is the new Stampin' Up! Love Today Planner Kit. Um, I am already a planner. And it seems like when I don't plan, that's when everything goes off the rails. So... Right now, I actually use bullet journals. I have two bullet journals, and I've talked about them before, but this is my main one, and you can tell that, like, I use them. This is this week. I'm not going to go into, like, detail about how I use this planner, but, because I want to focus on the Stampin' Up! one, and give you a bit of a review, and unboxing, because I haven't opened it yet. But I just wanted to show you that I do use it and it's a little wild. Um, I have to split up my days. There's almost not enough space because I think about my life in three different ways. And that is household stuff and then work stuff and then creative. So my idea was to continue using this for work and for day-to-day um, -day household stuff. And start using my Stampin' Up! one for my creative deadlines, my creative things that I want to do, and my kind of um, lists. So right now I have another bullet journal, and this is another dotted one. This one here, I should explain, this one here is like, um, it's a weekly one. So it actually has dates in there for 2017, and it goes annual. This one here is literally just like a diary, but it's dotted lines. So I do a lot of lists. Here's my Christmas catalog list. You know, there's different things about income and stamps and what I want to eat, meal planning. So that's what I use for this here. But now I've kind of made the decision that I'm ready to try something new with the Stampin' Up! Love Today planner. So I'm going to open it up. And I really don't know what to expect because I know that it's a ring binder, a small ring binder. And that kind of doesn't turn my crank because I like to bring my stuff everywhere and it gets destroyed. So with the binder, I'm a little hesitant. I'm wondering whether it's going to cut. Wow, it's pretty though. It looks a lot prettier in person. I don't know if you can tell. Let's get this plastic off and the glare will be off. Um, I'm just afraid that it'll smash in my bags and kind of get destroyed. Well, I can hear a pitter patter upstairs. Let's see. I may have to take a time out. Okay, so it's a gold foil, it looks like, but I can already tell that. I'll scratch this up pretty quickly. I like that there's metal here. I like that it's gold. Okay. And inside is refills. Now what I do understand, oh, it's Jane, she's up. I'm just doing a quick video, babes. So, um, what I do understand is this is refillable. So I can start this at any time. Where next week starts August, I'm going to start it next week. So I just wanted to set up a couple pages and kind of get an idea as to what I'm going to use this for. And just to give you an idea, this here goes for, it's $48. So I paid $48 for everything that you see here, and that's Canadian. And there's also refills available. So that must mean everything... So, Everything except the binder. Yeah. So that's what get. Um, inside, it looks like there's sticky notes. Let's open them up. Oh, these are sweet. Uh, with the water, watercolor flowers. Just a couple in different sizes. I use post-it notes all the time, so that is awesome for me. Uh, a little pocket. 
pocket uh, ooh, pulled so I can stuff receipts in here, different things like that, and another pocket. It's awesome. Here's some little acetate uh, pocket pages, which um, are perfect for putting little things in. These are almost a little too little for me because I like to put lists and different things in there. But we'll see. We'll see how I use it. I know you can use, uh, they look two by two, so you must be able to um, put pictures in there. I guess the idea is some people can put pictures in there. I'm going to just pop this stuff in the back while I'm at it and get the pages in. So here it looks like um, the, this is just an area where I can make notes and lists, which is totally up my alley. It looks like there's 12, so I would probably put one of these in each month. And this here appears to be all the pages. Oh, wow, look, hold on. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, what's on the other side? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's see how this works, see if I can figure this out. So all of these are the same thing. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Mondays on the other side. So let's let's see here. Here's the covers for every month. Oh, this is nice because it's um, laminated, I guess, is what you would call. So that is built to stand longer time. And there's a few stickers here. And they do have the gold foil edge on the outside two of these and they have the ring so you can leave it in here some foil there's three copies of that and this here to pop in where you normally people will put this where you are in your planner so again I'm gonna pop these stickers at the back I like that you can keep it there it's nice and let's see what else So where I'm going to start it at August, I will pop in my August stuff and kind of go from there. So it's going to go, oh, these are backwards, December, November, October, September, August. So let's put these in. Just going to show you. There we go. Uh, July, June, May, April. March. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? I do love the watercolor floral look right now. Um, there we go. So I will put one of these in every month. And that will probably be my priority list each month. Maybe my deadlines. I'll let you know. So I'll probably pop one of them the beginning of each month oh look it has the months there sure silly me how convenient that's December that's November look October well, I'm not gonna waste your time and put them all in but it's great I do want to find my August one August awesome all right so August starts on a Tuesday I'm not sure how. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This feels like a lot of thinking. Okay, so it has Monday and Tuesday at the end again. So really, there's going to be four weeks in August. So I need one, one, two, three, four. All right, so we have August, that's my calendar, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, amazing, I'm figuring it out, here look, I'm doing all the thinking, you guys are not even going to have to think, because I'm going to have this all figured out right now for you. So I like to use different pens, it depends on 
the day of the week, but I do have a micron here and it may bleed through, we'll find out. I do use my precision pen and I use Le Pen. I buy this a lot. So Monday is July 31st. And this is today. July 31st. Now some of you may want to stamp it. can't believe it's August. I normally would do this without the ring there. So I would probably start planning um, once a month then so that you could set up your month um, and just get it going. 28, 29, 30, 31. Okay. So I would probably do this. You know what? You know what's a better plan? Stampin' Up! has this cool new washi tape that I discovered. Um, I love it. I really love it. So why don't I do this? Brilliant. So what I'll end up doing is using this washi tape to cover up the days that aren't part of that month. Brilliant. Same here. Isn't this nice? Doesn't quite match, but uh, I think there's some more there. That's as wide as this. It's like perf the perfect width. Let me check it out for you. Is there some washi tape? That's wide, same length as that. That's pick a pattern. And it comes with these little skinny ones. Oh, I just, seriously, I don't I don't know how I live this long without them. I love skinny washi. Um, here it is. No, it looks like to be the only one that's the big, that one. But anyway, this does the trick. It's beautiful. Okay, so I just want to make sure I have enough weeks here because I'm going to start my August. This is going to be the first. Oh, look. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is great. Six, seven. So you are going to have to spend some time for sure maybe half an hour each month Whoop. Um, setting this up 13, 14, 15, 16 but Stampin' Up! does make it easy it seems like that doesn't seem right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. 21, I think we're at. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So I know I need one more page here. 30. Okay, 31. Now, I guess what I'll have to do, I could continue on to September, which is probably what I should do because if I put this here in the other month, like this, then it's gonna shag up my calendar, right? Yeah, because it always, every month is gonna have to start with a Monday. So in order not to make sure I don't waste pages, it's best for me to go September 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 
fourth, fifth, sixth. And then start on um, seven here. Not perfect, but totally works. So now I'm all set up for August. And um, I'm just going to pop these in while I have them there. So when you first get your planner, you're going to have to spend you know, 20 minutes like I am. And kind of get an idea of what's on the go. So I have this for August. And I know that every week as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I have some things that I want to get done every day. I try to create um, half an hour every day. So I will take these pages. Looks like there's definitely enough for a year. I would imagine there's 52 there, one for each week. I never looked it up, but I, I would say. So that's awesome. All of that's awesome. Now, I would stick this in here because that's where I am today. So, so here's my what it looks like. And when I have all this in, it should be a nice thickness for me. Let's see. So here... I use, um, sometimes I use these erasable pens, which are nice. Um, that's a paper mate, but I, it is erasable. Anyway, I would probably put in, look at the calendar and put in my deadlines right here. This is a good spot. And I would probably have a priority to list. I'd probably write a list of things that I need to buy. Um, that I'm running out of too here. So, oh look, it bled a little bit. I don't like that. It, like, it depends on the paper sometimes too and what pens you use. But yeah, so here I know that I have a Artisan Blog Hop on the third. So that's right here. So I would probably go. I, that is like a hard deadline. Maybe I'll put blog list there. Yeah, these are the days that they have to post. Blog list. So on 03, I have Artisan done. So usually I would need to know if the project is done. My project's not done. Uh, photos taken. So photos. And then blogged. So I will write all that down. Now, I just remembered that my creative scrapbooker post got changed. So this is actually the second. So I would normally like this in chronological order, but that's it. So Creative Scrapbooker Magazine. I have a post due to them. My projects are actually done, but the photos are not done. Um, on, the, on the 5th, nope, on the 4th, I have TGIF. Projects are not done. Photos are not done blog is not done and let me look on this side Monday that post okay so my next deadlines are the 10th so the 10th I have another TGIF I have simple scrapper and none of that is done nothing else is left Now I am planning a class for August, so, but that needs to go on its own. So probably in my priority list is going to be figuring out a class date. And as a sub to that, class projects. And then over here, uh, let's see. I 
don't usually have a lot going on in the middle of the month. So 17th and 19th. 17th and 20th is my next ones. And I like, I'm leaving a space in between so that I have uh, some space. So here I have a Facebook artisan. So project, photos, blog. This one's TGIF. Okay, so in the last one, last week, I have uh, oh, a lot on that 31st. I have an artisan post. I have a TGIF. I have a Fancy Friday, and I have a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin thing blog. So right now, from what I can see, these are all the projects that need to be done this month until I add more. Now. I also need to go through my pattern paper, so I'm going to put that as a priority list to get rid of. Go through paper. And I'm going to go into the main things. Today is the, uh, not the 31st, it's Sunday. Oh, right. All right. Well, between today and Monday. Actually, no, Monday is fine. So this is going to be my creative to do, some things that I want to do. So on Monday, I would like to get up early and write a blog post for a lifestyle blog that I have called Marshmallow Fog. I'm kind of doing some catch up work with that. So I'm trying every morning to do write blog posts for Marshmallow Fog. Um, and it's going to be a review on Splash and Pop just broke my nail. Splash and putt. I also want to go through my July photos and delete stuff and uh, organize online. So organize. I tried to do that monthly but I'm super behind. Photos. And that'll be while I watch some TV with my husband. But this is a big work day for me, so I'm probably not going to get that much done. So if I can write that, and I need to, finally I need to um, order my holiday catalogs. This is the last day for the mail order for the holiday catalogs for Stampin' Up. So if you're one of those people, make sure that I have your mailing address to do that. So these are going to be my my to dos. Now, what stickers do I have back here? Let's see. I'm not, I don't really use a lot of stuff like this, so I want to see something. So, Monday is an important date. And it's important because important because it is the first day that we can as demonstrators order yeah order pre-order so it's the Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog pre-order holiday pre-order that's usually a fun day. Let's see. So these little stickers are awesome to write on. I can tell right now. And let me see. So I do use a lot of, oh, this one's Cajun Craze. I meant to pull it real red. So those are kind of neat. So that's kind of what I want to get done. Monday is going to be a rough day for me. Wednesday is potentially a holiday. 
So what I'll probably do is, hopefully I'll get a lot done on this day. thing is in the way so this is probably going to be a holiday which means I may get a ton done which is totally exciting to me anyway this uh so far I'm pleased maybe my concern about leaving it in the like bringing it around to work I probably should just leave this in my craft room so that will be my plan for that anyway I hope you enjoyed my unboxing of my planner and uh, I can't wait to hear what you do with yours see you later bye Okay, so I just remembered that I actually have the tabs for everything um, stamp set as well. And um, I totally forgot all about it. And what's funny was I was thinking, I wish there was a stamp set for this. And guess what? I already had it. So there's that. And it also comes with um, this, the, I forget what it's called, circle tab punch. I think it's called. Anyway, I'm not going to use the punch today, but um, I will quickly continue with a bit of my planning to and use a couple of these stamps. I'm not sure that I would use them all the time, depending on what I felt like, but um, I definitely think that I would use the to-do, don't forget, celebrate i've used these little stamps um like congratulations what happened happy life i've used a few of those things before um but i did notice that there's a shopping cart and there is a shopping list shopping shopping so i mentioned that i would probably put a supply list in here that i need to remember to buy so i will probably stamp this in here really quick That's cute. Look how cute that is. Um, and then, so that's in black. And, oh, I've used that, those stars too. Okay. And I would probably, let's see. Smile, don't forget. So I need to make sure that I don't forget to order those holiday catalogs. I am notorious. And I end up then needing to ship everything out myself which is pretty much a big fail so i have to remember in fact if people can like just tell me don't forget don't forget kathy i'll try to do that tonight during game of thrones don't forget okay that's probably not big enough <coughs> but i'm gonna highlight it too mm, let's see <coughs> yeah, I have an orange hair. You know what? Let's try it with one of the Stampin' Up! Stamp right over the marker. Let's see. This is Hello Honey. No. Daffodil Delight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Let's see if it went through. Excellent. So I can't forget that. And what else do today is there? Happy life, wonderful. Do today. Don't forget. Um, so I'm just kind of figuring out how this 
planner will work for me. I'm going to use Bermuda Bay, actually. And I'm slowly getting around, but, uh, yeah. This stamp set is super cute. Now, the stamp is not going to be as crisp as if you use this on your, um, Whisper White paper, but it'll do the trick. So yeah, now I'm sure that some people will do this up here. It's probably meant for that. Up here, up top, and show the week's ending. Maybe. Probably won't do that every week. So week ending. August 6, 2007. But you can if you want. So yeah. Anyway, I hope that you have um, I've piqued your interest and you can at least have a look to see if this planner works for you. So have a great day. Bye.